Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video. I'm going to be unboxing a tarantula from Fear Not Tarantulas. Now this is a species I've wanted for some time now. I'm really really happy I was able to get it. I just picked it up at the FedEx Center near me and I'm ready to open it and check it out. So the species I got is a Pisolotheria metallica, also known as the Goody Sapphire. Here's a little container they shipped the spider in. I really like how they packaged everything. It's very secure, very snug. And they uh, look like they had to use a heating pad because it is pretty cold where I'm at. So what I'm gonna do now is prepare to transport my tarantula into its new home. I do have two containers prepared for this tarantula because I'm not 100% sure how big it's actually going to be. It is an arboreal species. I'm hoping it's large enough to go into this container right here. But if it is too small, it's gonna go into this one and eventually be transported into that one. I have my two containers ready. I did miss them and added the cork bark and the substrate. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to open the container and carefully move the tarantula now I do have it in a bin. I have never had to rehouse a tarantula before. Uh, Pisolotherias are very fast tarantulas. They can bolt and even though it is a small tarantula, I still don't want to risk it getting out and escaping anywhere. So just to be safe, I have this bin. So I'm sorry about the weird angle, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold a camera and do this at the same time. Just in case it decides to run, I'm gonna keep it right down here. So if you see right there, that's its leg and it is moving a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her into this container. I think it's going to be able to go into the larger container. You can see her right there. They are sensitive to light, so I'm trying not to let the light shine down on it. so it ran further back into the container. So it did start to come out with the uh, sphagnum moss, so I put the container down in there, and as you can see, it is leaving on its own. Sometimes you can just leave the little container in there open, and the tarantula will come out on its own eventually. I'm gonna try to get her, or it, I should say. I don't actually know if it's male or female yet. Just to move a little bit so I can get that container out. And it bolted right out of there, so it is very, very fast, even for such a small tarantula. She is, it is on the side of this container. So it is down at the bottom there. I am going to have to put this camera down to do this. I do not want to try to focus on holding a camera and watching the P. metallica at the same time. So my P. metallica has successfully been transported into its new enclosure. I added the bottle cap as a water dish. 
Right now it is hard to see it because it is underneath that cork at like this angle where I just can't see it. They are very sensitive to light. I'm going to try to include some shots of it as it's more settled in and comes out of hiding. But I'm really, really excited. I'm really like happy that Fear Not Tarantulas was able to send me this. They're a really good place to order tarantulas from if you are trying to order a tarantula. I would recommend ordering from them. They're definitely a great company. There are other great ones out there as well. This tarantula's name is going to be Cyanide. I have no idea whether it is male or female. I am hoping for a female just because, you know, they live longer. This is my first old world tarantula and I'm really excited that I got it and I can't wait to see it grow and really get its full colors. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.